Right, quick introduction before we get on the video. Sorry if there's been no race footage, but Eurosport have lit will literally take down all my videos. They've taken down 30 so far. I reckon like one's dating back a couple years now. Um, so I'm not really prepared to make them if they're just going to get taken down. Like Hep Niesblatt and Kerner Brussels Kerner, like I would put them up, but I know they will get taken down, which is very sad. Um, but if there are other races that aren't covered by Eurosport that I can find, then I'll definitely make videos because I love them and I know that you guys do. Anyway, on to the video. Cross country skiing, world championships. Oh, looks like a bloke's getting done for doping and literally caught on camera. As we can see here, he's literally doing a blood bag as the police came in. So, you know, not great for cross country skiing, uh, not ideal, you know, at all. <laughs> that face is one of the funniest I've ever seen. It's just like, oh no, I'm in trouble. Uh, but how does this relate to cycling, you may ask? Well, Stephen Denifel has uh, decided that. Um, in a police interview, that he had done blood doping indeed. Um, he confessed it to the police, and the police were, oh, fair enough. Uh, he won up Los Mas Chucos um, a couple of years ago in the 2017 Vuelta a España. And, uh, yeah, after that, he hasn't really done anything since. So some people were a bit suspicious. Um, but anyway, this Dr. Mark Schmidt, um, he's been arrested before, and he was all right when he was a team doctor at Gerald Steiner with Bernard Cole and Stefan Schumacher. Um, who tested positive in 2008. He then moved to Milan. He just seems like a bit of a dodgy bloke, let's be honest. Um, he's apparently got 60 blood bags. How many athletes they will belong to? Some people are only speculating maybe 10. Some people are speculating more. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but anyway, so this is a bit odd because in uh, 2018, 24th of December, Stephen Denfield will not ride with CCC team next year. He's decided to mutually dissolve his contract. All this. Apparently, he was all to his family. He just wanted to be a family man or all the rest of it. Is it, everyone is a bit questionable, um, but anyway, then Zoidal took his place, he raced at continental level and then has taken his place, so he's pretty happy, um, but anyway, we look at this and we say, it's it's obvious that this guy's had a positive or has been caught in something, as a man of the sport, I said on these blogs a couple of months ago that this guy was a red flag walking, all this, last year was best climber in the Vuelta, etc, etc, and he has a very good point, because really hasn't done much since, um, and dissolving a contract like this, there's always something a bit just not right. When both, if you know, both of them say, you know, I moved on, et cetera, et cetera. But when it's one of them, like family reasons, you're like, yeah, but come on, you knew you, you liked your family, like before this, like 24th of December, Christmas Eve, like, okay, you have to do it before the 1st of January, but even so, because otherwise, like, you know, it's difficult for contract situ uh, negotiations for next year. But yeah, it, it, there's something up. And then Jim Okowitz, um, was saying that there was no red flags. Um, he was just saying that he's a great addition to CCC team. This was before he got, um, well, whatever happened to him. Um, he never went anywhere. He said he had some personal issues, and that was the end of it. He said they were personal with his family, so that's his business. Had nothing to do with the sport, but with his family business. It was something with his wife, and then something with his father and sister. I didn't ask a lot of questions. He said he wasn't able to do this, so I said, okay, fair enough. Um, it says here that the teams are not forced to check their biological passport data, but they can if they want. And in my opinion, I reckon Jim Okowitz probably would have done because he knows that if you get a positive, that isn't good for your team sponsors at all. Um, so, you know, he said this, he's a semi-climber, not expensive, and someone that fits in our selection because Austria is one of the countries that CCC does business in. Yeah, it make, makes sense. Um, but anyway, so he's been, well, not pinned, I guess, but he's admitted to it. So that's cheerio for his career in cycling, I reckon, um, which, you know, is a bit of a shame for him, but it's life. But it'll be more interesting to see what else happens, who else gets done by these blood bags, what is the outcome for the cross-country skiers. Um, it's not good for any sport. Um, I mean, any sport that gets pos like gets a positive doping test is always just not ideal because the sponsor's going to pull out because they don't want to get, um, you know, get the... Like, people don't want... They don't get associated with the bad press. Um, so, yeah, cycling is not ideal. If, you know, a couple more cyclists get pinged, it's just not going to be good for the sport and not really good for anyone involved um but i think these blood bags will get released unlike operation puerto um where you know it's not a crime to dope in spain therefore they didn't have to release them and the heads of each sport um not cycling but football and other ones tennis for instance they were like it's not you can't release them it's not possible because they know it would it would be too scandalous but cycling like yeah yeah release them it doesn't matter just ruin our sport we don't care if we got no sponsors just like nah come on you need to you need to be a bit more professional just make sure it doesn't happen. But in Austria, it will happen because it's a crime. Uh, it's, seen, it's the same in France. It's seen as sports fraud, I believe, um, because you're defrauding the sponsors because you're not actually that good. Um, but anyway, so what will happen to them, no one really knows, but it will be super exciting to see 
like well not exciting but we're super interesting to see um exactly what happens um with all these riders and cross country skiers who have been uh caught in this doping a sort of doping ring i guess you would call it and what happens to the old doc tour so anyway cheers for watching what are your thoughts on this whole situation um is Denifil really that bad of a guy? And will who else will get caught? That is my question. How many other people are involved? 60 blood bags? 50, 60 blood bags? I don't know. They could be all be from the same people. They could not be. You know, you could have 20 people with three each. I mean, it's hard to say. Um, but anyway, cheers.